Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the 15th. I don't usually say that, but I did one already. I don't know if I'm going to share it or not. We'll see. I'm going to do another one, see if I got that one right. I think I did, and I don't usually doubt. I, you know, I know that I got that right for somebody, but... Um, that's all I'm going to say. So anyway, we're going to do another one, and I'll think about sharing that other one a little bit more. So let's see what we got. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna date this one, but keep in mind that I am not God, and timing is fluid. So I don't, I don't have any say, and neither do you. Okay. So, but we're going to say this one is for the 15th and just for the heck of it. So what do we got, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? What do we got for the 15th? I would like to know. I never shuffle my cards like this usually because I don't want to damage them. Plus, I'm not very good at it. So what do we got? What do we got for the 15th? This reading is not science specific. This is just a message I'm picking up on for somebody. I tend to resonate with people that comment the most, it feels like, because then I, I read every single comment. So I feel like I resonate with those people. Those are the people I tap into the most. That's how I feel. Um, although I, I, I'm sure that I resonate with a lot of new people too. If you click on my video by accident or if it pops up by accident the, that, you know, definitely, or if you were drawn to the video for some reason, then absolutely the read, the reading is for you. Okay. Some people want to deny it though, cause it's not what they want to hear, but you know, you'll have that, you'll have that as well. Anyway, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for the 15th of November 2019? What can we expect around that? As close as possible would be great, okay? Thank you. <laughs> I know I'm asking a bit much, I, and I don't ask for much. There's only one thing I really, really want, and you know exactly what that is. So if you could just bring that to me, I would be uh, your servant for the rest of my life. So, uh <laughs> The chariot. This is triumph. This is victory. This is success. So this is forward movement. This is victory. This is replacing fear with faith. This is getting in the car, going someplace. This is heading in the right direction, getting in the driver's seat, moving very quickly. Um, this is this is forward movement. Things happening very very fast. So something could be happening very very fast. There could be an arrival. Um, King of Wands. Now, this person is very decisive. He makes an instant decision. Somebody could make an instant decision to make a move because this is movement. Okay. This is an instant decision. A set, this could be a very quick decision. This person is very, this is a very wise individual. This person is. This person um, is very powerful. Very passionate, very confident. This is a leader. This could be a boss, somebody in high authority could be making some sort of decision. Ooh, the hermit reversed. Now, the hermit reversed. This is somebody that. Well, let's get one more card first. Ooh, somebody has been lying. Somebody has been lying with the Seven of Swords. This person may see it very clearly. This person is very knowledgeable. This is a king. This person is mature. Very mature. Has life experience. This isn't no child. This isn't no youngin. This is somebody who has a lot of life experience and wisdom behind their back. This hermit, though, somebody may not be being very wise and they're lying. Somebody is, is lying. They may think they're getting away with it. They're not very wise. Okay. So we got somebody here that's not very wise. With the hermit reversed. They're lying. They're cheating. They're stealing. They're not telling the truth. They think they're getting away with it. But they're not thinking clearly. Because this person is smarter than they think. So 
Hmm. This could be some sort of rejection. Somebody's been trying to hide something. They've been trying to hide the truth, but this person, you, it's really hard to hide the truth from this person. This person ain't stupid. So, interesting. This person's a leader, and he's a leader for a reason. Interesting. Very interesting. Somebody is trying to deceive right here. Now, there could be a change in the home. It could happen very fast because the Ten of Pentacles is home life. There could be a change in the family dynamics, a change in the family home, the family structure. This could be the end of a, a legacy of some sort. It could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's deciding to move very, very quickly. It's a pretty, pretty sudden decision. This is sneaking. Interesting. Let's see. Now, the Hermit Reverse, this is loneliness, isolation, removing an obstacle. Somebody has been trapped in feeling very, very lonely, very lonely energy here. And this could be somebody that is sneaking away, just going another route here. Somebody could have been keeping another person trapped. There's a relocation here. Somebody's relocating. This is relocating. Somebody relocating, relocating, relocating. Somebody's relocating. Very, very sudden. It's a sudden decision to go. To break free from something. To break free from some sort of prison. Mental prison, mental situation where they have been trapped. Where they have been confined. Mental or confinement. Somebody has been confined to a situation, you know... has to do with their home this has to do with their home but they're headed towards happiness because this is happiness seeing a situation clearly somebody is about to see something very 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 clearly after not seeing it somebody wasn't seeing it but now they're going to see it. And this is a card of consequences. So somebody may be suffering some sort of consequences for lying. And it could have something to do with the family because this is family and this is family. So there's something to do with the family. Now, the King of Wands is somebody who takes action. This person is a protector. This could be somebody in protective services a protector of some sort that guy is a protector so we have somebody a protector here it doesn't have to be a man it can be a man or a woman and this is a home queen of pentacles reverse this is somebody that is obsessed queen of pentacles reverses and is somebody that is obsessed is she could somebody could be experiencing a loss of some sort this is somebody who's not very motherly not very nurturing, not very uh, stable. Somebody's not stable and secure. This guy knows it. He sees it. He's a visionary. He sees it. Somebody is seeing that somebody is not stable. And they're, and they're taking action. It's like it's a sudden decision. It's time. It is time to go. So somebody is seeing that there is something at home with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. This definitely isn't stable. Definitely not stable. And somebody is about to take action very, very quickly. It's like they're not. It's like their decision is made the minute they see it. And somebody is arriving very, very fast. To deal with whatever this situation is. Because this is a very fast arrival. So something is arriving very, very quickly. Out of the blue, it's very sudden. So there's a sudden arrival. Somebody has been lying for sure. Keeping secrets. Not telling the truth. Somebody had hidden agendas. The 
This is liberation. This is the end of a painful, stressful situation. Somebody is leaving. They may have been trying to uh, stop it from happening with the high priestess reversed. They may be somebody actually somebody may be unaware that somebody is leaving very quickly. They may not see it coming. They don't see it coming. They don't see it coming. This person had hidden agendas. They had some sort of tricks up their sleeve. Maybe they were performing some sort of who knows what they were doing, but whatever they were doing, it weren't good. I'm not even going to say the words because I don't promote it. But we have somebody here that wasn't doing good things and they were preventing a person from leaving in some way. But I think that somebody is absolutely leaving and this is the end of a painful, stressful situation. This is freedom. This is liberation from somebody that has been very, very sneaky, very, very shady, very ha definitely somebody that wasn't in the right energy with the high priestess reverse somebody of a low vibration somebody um has been keeping secrets they really haven't been telling the truth and i think we have a person that is going to see it instantly instantly they're going to see that somebody is unstable and they're going to make a fast quick decision it's like an instant decision that it's time to end this. This is like manipulation. It is. This is your hero. This is the Six of Wands. Usually, this is my hero card. It is. Um, this is making progress, moving in a new direction, headed towards balance and harmony. This is somebody that is very noble. We do have somebody that is very, very noble. Definitely. That is a leader. Because this is my leader card as well. The Six of Wands. We have, a, we have somebody here that is about to take the lead. About to take charge of a situation. It has to do with protection of some sort. Somebody hasn't been um, working together. They haven't been putting in enough effort. They haven't been doing what they said they were going to do. There's been a lack of cooperation or a lack of communication or a lack of respect, a lack of teamwork. Somebody's been unwilling to compromise or they just haven't been putting in effort. They, they haven't been doing what they said they were going to do. And we have the end of a contract here. A false contract. There's no compatibility. It's not meant to be. There's arguments. It's just, there's, it's not right. This isn't love. It's not. It's not love. That's not love. We have somebody here that um, did not have good intentions. They are emotionally unbalanced. They're, they may be unhealthy. They're not grounded. They're not practical. They're very unrealistic and it's like we got somebody here who's just like, you know what? I see this for what it is. It's almost like somebody is coming to the rescue. That's how, what I feel like. Like I'm coming to the rescue. <laughs> I don't even know. I just heard a song and it's like. Oh God, I don't know. Oh geez. It's like I see like Zorro. Do, 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 whatever that is. <laughs> don't know you know coming to the rescue that's fantasy you know i don't like fantasy but whatever whatever anyhow um let's get back to reality here um we got somebody here that doesn't have good intentions doesn't know how to love is not invested in love they may have uh involved themselves in a third party situation and they get caught that could be the case for some of you um, this is seeing a situation very very clearly about a situation that is not stable and secure Somebody is about to take swift action and it's like they're going to move. They're going to move. 
because this is not compatible. There's, it's just not. This is the end of a contract. There's a contract that is coming to an end. There's just no teamwork. There's no working together. There's no compatibility. Compatibility. It's been too stressful. There's really no love here. And it's like... It's like they see that there's a better opportunity for happiness if they relocate. So I see that this is a day of relocation and I think it is a very, this is a sudden decision as well. It's like, boom, goodbye. So we have somebody that is going to suddenly relocate. That is what I see. It's like an instant decision. It's like the delays are over. Somebody is moving towards something that will bring them more victory, more success, more happiness, more comfort, more growth. Seven, seven, seven. Seven of swords, seven of pentacles, seven of cups. And the chariot is a seven as well. This is a number, seven is the number from heaven. This is faith. Okay? So somebody's faith. It's like it's like their faith has prevailed. Seven is the number of faith. So it's like heaven. It is heaven. It's like heaven is stepped in. Heaven has stepped in. And it's like they're removing somebody from a very stressful, painful situation they're helping somebody either so they're removing somebody or they're bringing in somebody to help or they're giving somebody the strength and the confidence and the courage to take action and move themselves somebody is moving very very quickly towards victory and success after being in some sort of contract that was false and not compatible and not meant to be There's no love. There's been lies. There's been deception. <laughs> there has. And somebody is about to see the whole situation clearly. It's coming out of confusion. It's like, I see it as it is. I see it for what it is. And it's like, boom, gone. And that is what this day is about. So, good luck.